So, what's the log frame exactly? If you're watching this video, you probably know the basics, but are having some trouble with the details. Am I right? Like, what is the difference between a result, an outcome, an objective, an input, an output, etc., etc.? If this stuff confuses you, you're not alone. One trick for understanding these definitions is assigning them to the actors involved. For example, consider the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. What this means is that you can do everything in your power to get a horse with a problem, thirst, all the tools he needs to solve the problem, water, and you adopt this strategy based on experience, i.e., if you lead a thirsty horse to water, it's extremely likely that the horse will drink. But ultimately, the horse has to do the drinking. There's a line beyond which the horse is on his own. You can't do the drinking for him. Let me say this another way. If a project plan were a script, there would be a few standard roles in the cast. The target group. The project is designed to help these guys solve a problem. And the indirect beneficiaries. People who are going to ultimately benefit from the project, but not directly. Maybe they'll benefit in a slightly different way or at a different time. And in this movie, the plot is your project, and it looks something like this. The team comes upon the horse, who obviously has a problem. This horse doesn't look so good. I know, right? And the problem is analyzed and defined. I think maybe he's thirsty. That could be linked to a lack of accessible water. The horse's problem in turn causes some problems for the indirect beneficiaries. How is this horse going to pull the plow? He doesn't look ready for the big money on this weekend. And a plan is made. We need to lead this horse to some water. Inputs are procured. This is like a grocery list of all the stuff you're going to need that might trigger an expense, including people's time. Then, activities are carried out using the inputs to create outputs. Stuff you make with the inputs. And then outcomes, changes in condition that are made possible through the activities and the outputs. So, now we're at that line again. Remember that line? This is as far as the project can take it. The project has created this change in condition for the target group based on experience and research. And if all goes as planned, the target group adopts an anticipated change in behavior or the immediate objective in which they are now creating benefit for themselves. So, now this benefit to the direct target group leads to a change in behavior for the indirect beneficiaries, which is the overall objective, in which the indirect beneficiaries create benefit for themselves. And that's it. And so, to review, inputs, are the stuff you need to get the outputs. Which are used to create outcomes. Then the target group can achieve the immediate objectives. Which leads to the indirect beneficiaries being able to achieve overall objectives. <laughs>